In the outgoing year, we saw the most despicable acts of the imperialist powers and the reactionary puppets to attack and subjugate the proletariat and people of the world through neoliberal exploitation, state terrorism, and wars of aggression. In response, the proletariat and people rose up in both imperialist and non-imperialist countries to fight for the national and democratic rights and for a socialist future against monopoly capitalism and reaction. In the year of 2020, we expect the crisis of the world capitalist system to worsen further and all the major contradictions to sharpen, including those among the imperialist powers, between imperialism and the oppressed peoples, between labor and capital, and between imperialism and the countries asserting national independence and socialist aspirations. The objective conditions will become ever more favorable to the development and advance of the anti-imperialist mass movements and the world proletarian revolution. Imperialists and reactionaries will tend to unleash state terrorism or fascism, but will be confronted by people's resistance on an unprecedented scale. In the new year unfolding, I welcome and support the further rise of the anti-imperialist and democratic forces and the increasing desire of the proletariat and people for revolutionary change and for socialism. The use of fascism by the big bourgeoisie will only serve to intensify and expand revolutionary movements and people's wars in various countries. I am confident that the International League of People's Struggle will continue to play a major role in the resurgence of the anti-imperialist and socialist movement on a global scale. The League will continue to gain strength and advance in unity with the proletariat and peoples of the world. Long live the International League of People's Struggle. Long live the anti-imperialist and democratic forces. Long live the revolutionary cause of socialism. Long live proletarian internationalism and solidarity of all peoples.